So it's, it's the fifth finger has the same problem that it kind of breaks. El quinto dedo tiene unión hacia abajo y hacia arriba. So it's very strange. Entonces se le levanta así. Okay, so so the, the issue is not to be there's a problem when she gets straight, mm -hmm. but there's a problem we know when we curl. I so, can you put it neither like this? Just in in, in the natural in position, side. not straight, like with nice pads, so that you can come, you know, you can come down, put them down. Okay. And another thing, just like with everything else I've been talking about. When you put the fingers down, they can't do it by themselves without having to strain. Dedos, no hacerlo solo. Que you have to come down from here. This is the part that is brazo. a little bit, they know it already. It's, it's a part that is a little bit heavier, so it makes it easier. And for that reason, you also can't break the wrist. Mm -hmm. Flutists break the wrist a lot. You know, the wrist is here. Mm -hmm. Get it so that it's you feel that it's more. It may not look high. It doesn't have to be high. Just enough to feel okay. that the forearm, yeah, okay. is behind it. Okay. So try to put your fingers. Let's not worry about tilting. Just nice and free, not flat, and not curled. How's that? It's better. It's better. Now feel that you connected all the way to here. Now it doesn't mean that you push from here. It means that, yeah, when the fingers come down, there is a response from the forearm. How's that? Okay. Yeah. That's a lifesaver. Mm -hmm. That saves lives mm -hmm. at, at the flute. Yeah. How's that? That's nice. And do you have to be that low? Uh, have you been to, and the thumb. This week, the pulgar, what was a problem of all the instruments. Yeah, the pulgar has a problem in all the instruments. You know the teacher, Tam Patitucci? Mm -hmm. Also, he was here, and, and I said the thumb is not in the right place. And he saw it with everybody. So he found that his thumb was a little bit more here. Because they say you have to have the thumb behind the middle finger. And because of the lesson here, he realized that when he does that, there's tension here. But when the thumb was here, just a little bit of an adjustment, like between the second, like here, there was no tension. And when there wasn't tension here, suddenly everything went fast. Y cuando no había tensión, de repente todo se movía más rápido. So you can see that a little, what looks like a little thing is, has huge consequences. Entonces a veces lo que parece una cosa muy pequeña tiene consecuencias enormes. Little wrong has very big consequences. Y un pequeño error tiene consecuencias muy grandes. And the same with the right thing. Lo mismo con. Yeah. So see that you're not necessarily lowering it so much. Okay. And just have a feeling, yeah, when you come here, you're coming nice and free. Okay. Yeah. So okay. You have to feel connected, and in order to be connected, you'll see that your wrist, if your wrist is too low, mm -hmm. it's a break. It's a break in the connection. Okay? Now, could you feel that you are over the fingers where you're not tilted this way and you're not tilted that way? Where you feel that you're connected, it's easy to go down, you know? How's that? That's bad. Find where, where it feels good. Okay. Like that? That's why I would be. Okay? okay? And then we'll worry about the pinky. Okay, you want to try to play a little bit and get again to get the. Alright, so every finger that you go to feel that the forearm is, is shifting a little bit behind the next finger. In other words, the fingers can't move by themselves. But they struggle. Go a little bit slower. Oh, yeah, and the thumb, the thumb, the thumb, the thumb. The thumb cannot be, the thumb is not playing here. Right? It's only holding. So if it's tense, that's what that's why I gave the whole story of the, of the guitar. Make sure yeah that it's holding very lightly and it's not pulling this way and it's not this way. It just falls naturally. Okay? Can you feel that this is behind the fingers? Yeah. It's like we don't even see it. 
but you have to feel it. You know, on each finger, when the finger goes down, there's a form that, that, that releases a little bit. That's good. Okay. No tension there. Yeah. yeah? You want to try it again? That's better. Now, what's happening here? That seems to be okay. No, it's <coughs> straight, the pinky's fine. If they're not straight, the pinky is fine. So you see, when the fingers were straight, <coughs> there was a problem with the pinky. Because <coughs> it was also straight. <coughs> but when it's in, in the natural position, <coughs> the first finger is also okay. Yeah. And you feel, get a feeling like there's a little rotation to that okay. pinky. Like this. Yeah. Right, a little bit tiny. Right, so it doesn't, they're really movements when you're going from one to the other. my forearm? Look here. Here, stand on the other side. Yeah. Just, just feel it lightly on the top. Okay. Mm. Can you feel this? Yeah. And whether it goes between. Behind That's what gives it strength. That's when the figures feel strong. Okay. So was that the main problem? Yeah. That's okay. The problem that okay. Watch the thumb. Yeah. Okay. You see, when we are like that, you see how the thumb behaves? Mm -hmm. This is not comfortable, right? Mm -hmm. But that's what you're doing in the flute. Okay. Were you told to hold it like that? No. no. It's just, but it's just that most woodwind players do that. Okay. You know. So I, I've been saying that nature is not always obvious. But this is natural. Yeah. And the other one is not. Yeah, so just let, let the flu just go be, between you. Yeah, and you don't have to, there's no reason here. You have to forearm to help you hold the flu also. Don't let the fingers grab to hold the same here. This is fine. Yeah. Just let it fall gently and feel that this, the power from the forearm helps hold the flute. Okay. How's that? So the fingers can be very light. Okay? okay? okay. So that's. Does it solve also to, to tilt it this way, to tilt it that yeah. way? Yeah. Okay. Good.